day 108. We're at the top of Bear Mountain. Pretty nice view. You can just make out, I don't even know if you can see it on my camera. The New York City skyline is over there. We can see it. I don't know if you guys can, but it's pretty cool to be able to see that this far away. We're going to go through a zoo today. We're going to hit the lowest elevation on the AT. I think that's the Hudson over there, too. So, pretty cool stuff. trail literally goes right through a museum and zoo so we'll see if they have any any little animals that want to come say hi this morning there's a little red fox back there a porcupine we've seen him before Oh, the coyotes have moved. A woodchuck. This is the lowest point on the AT. And there's bears. Just chilling. And then there's one over there. Crossing a big old bridge, crossing Hudson River with Hummer. Hey guys, we just went through the zoo and everything, and we have some bad news. We had to um, say goodbye to Rockfly. He's headed back home today. He took 10 days off and then came out a week and hiked with us again, but his feet just still aren't healed up and they were giving him problems already. So he just went ahead and uh, called it quits and went home so that way they didn't get any worse and he could heal back up. So we're gonna miss him and it's gonna be weird again without him, but Hummer and I are going to See if we can make it to Maine. So, wish us luck. Good morning, everyone. It's day 109. It is 7 a.m. and it is raining. It has rained all last night. It started raining at like 1 o'clock yesterday. Um, it was kind of light for a little bit. And then it rained literally all last night, throughout the whole night. Still raining and it's still supposed to rain for a little ways today. So, we're wet, but we're hiking. So, no pain, no rain, no main. Because of the rain, we kept going uh, and never stopped for lunch until we got to the Ralph Peak Hiker Cabin. It's the RPH shelter. It was kind of nice. Got bunks, cable information, benches in it, it's got a nice overhang, got a picnic table, it's got a Ryan, it's got a pub over there, and uh, oh, most importantly, it has free beer. Oh, yeah, suck juice. to pump your water in New York. Day 110, 
we are on a boardwalk in New York now. And it is beautiful out. Nice and sunny, there's a breeze. And that's really awesome because it rained for 40 hours straight. I'm not even joking. It did not even stop for 40 hours. So everything's wet. So we are very thankful for this nice day to dry us out. You pass a little train station uh, and you can get on board and it'll take you to New York or it'll take you the other way. And uh, apparently the train comes by here. Get on. Kind of cool. You are here. You are going there. Exciting. Hey everyone, it's day 111 and we are in Connecticut. You actually go in Connecticut, out of Connecticut, and back in Connecticut all on the same day. Stop it. We're on a bridge right now. We're looking at pretty pretty little river here. Uh, it's, it's nice and sunny again today, which is such a relief because we were so tired of the rain. So we did our biggest day, or sorry, second biggest day. Uh, the other day we did 21.6 and we initially were going to try to get into Salisbury early and then yesterday we decided we didn't want to do all those miles again early so now we're just having lighter days so it's, it's nice it's nice to be able to just enjoy the trail and relax and uh, it's gotten a lot more hillier which after being in Pennsylvania being so flat um, working them thighs back out so we're just going to hike along and we may even go in and out of town for some ice cream that's to be determined but if we do I'll let you know made a quick stop off in Kent Connecticut and there's a backcountry outfitters it has a few things um, if you need to pick anything up and then it also has any bananas ice cream we got some of that and ate our lunch. Took a nice little break, charge our phone, and we're gonna head back out. Okay, so it's day 113, and I cannot believe it's July 2nd. I had no idea. I thought it was still June. So I'm pretty blown away right now. We have to take a little detour because a bridge is out, but they have, you can see it marked on that sign. The one up there, little orange blazes orange and white blazes for us so I didn't make a video yesterday because not a lot happened uh, it stormed in the morning so we slept in our tent till about 10 and then when the rain finally stopped we got out packed all our stuff up and headed out to where we stayed at last night uh, the plan is that tomorrow we are going into Salisbury Connecticut and we'll have our zero day there so that's about it. It's supposed to be nice weather and not supposed to rain again for a little while. So we're going to enjoy that and just hike the trail, I guess. Walk along our detour. Picked a little bag of blackberries. So, nice little treat on this day. Right? Right. it's the morning of day 115 it's July 4th so happy 4th everyone um, we are leaving Salisbury right now we stayed at Maria McCabe's she is in the guidebook but it does not even say how wonderful she is to stay with she gave us clothes to wear while our laundry was washing she let us have breakfast and 
she gave us a soda like she's just super nice she's the older woman she lets you stay in her house she's just she's full of spunk in life and um if she gets to keep doing this i definitely recommend that if you need a place to stay you go to her house so uh we're getting back out on the trail bags aren't that heavy just got three days of food so we're feeling good and we're gonna knock some miles out We are at the highest point in Connecticut, another Bear Mountain, and in a few miles, we will be in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, baby! Ten down, four to go. Right, right there. And uh, now we get to come down and somehow cross across that and go up that way. Walking up along the ridge here, got a pretty awesome view. <laughs> and we are up by the clouds. We're at cloud level. All the tangy little trees. Pretty cool. We keep heading up. So we came down off of Bear, Connecticut. And the downhill on that for a Nobo is super steep and rocky. And then after that, you climb Mount Everett. Uh, and that's super steep and rocky. And I'm sorry, you can't even see that well on my camera. Uh, the steepness of this, we've been going like super steep for like, it's only 0.7 of a mile, but it feels like forever. Because of course, it's raining, so everything's really slick. And uh, should be coming up to the top here in just a second I don't even know if there's Here's a the view. top of Mount Everett there used to be a fire tower but it's not there anymore elevation 2,602 feet morning of day 116 we're passing uh, a memorial for the, or a monument for the last battle of Shays Rebellion Kind of foggy out. We got up early and started hiking because the bugs were absolutely ridiculous where we camped at last night. But they're a little better now. So, we'll see what Massachusetts has to offer. Not the most interesting day on the trail, but there's a nice little pond. And it's been a beautiful day, which has been really nice. So, we did 19... 0.2 miles yesterday and we're doing like 20.2 today and tomorrow we'll go in and out of Lee to resupply and then eventually we'll make it to Bennington. That's kind of the game plan. Things you don't expect to see on the trail. Hey Carl Dad. All right, everyone, it's coming to the end of day 117. Didn't film much because there wasn't much to film. We woke up at the Shaker campsite, which has a friendly bear that visits them. And he visited us last night. He didn't get real close to the campsite, but uh, Catnip saw him and we heard him running around. And then this morning, Hummer said he thought he saw some sort of bobcat or mountain lion. I don't even know if they have those around here and I didn't see it but that's what he thought he saw and then we hitched a ride in and out of Lee and resupplied at a big uh, store called the Big Y and so far Massachusetts has been buggy and muddy but the terrain hasn't been bad neither has the elevation changes and at least it has a lot of water source so we've been able to carry uh, only like half a liter with us and just jump between all the streams so that's about it